I remember we went to uh, this thing called Beta Breakers a while back there. Mm-hmm. And it was like this, it was a race, I guess, where people start, I guess, at the bay and then they run like the bridge or something. Yep. Well, we did a bunch of mushrooms and we didn't, uh, I don't know, we weren't really in the race or anything. But at one point we took over a a table. Somebody had a table where they had all the cups of water and we took it over right in the middle. And I'm just just flying on mushrooms at this point, dude. I mean, I'm looking, you know, the Lord's looking for me, you know, and I'm looking for him, you yeah, know, and we're yeah. going to meet up that afternoon. But, uh, and people were running by in this race, you know, it was tens of thousands of people in this race. And when they get close, someone would, would try to get the water and we'd be like, no, it's for Asian people only. <laughs> So you had so many people, and they're running. They have to keep going. There's t- there's a huge flow of people. They can't argue or discuss right, it. Right, right. And you'd be like, uh, oh, it's Asians only. And they're like, <laughs> and they just keep on. Like, Pass it out from dehydration yeah, yeah. a quarter mile down the road. All these Irish people Piled stacking up. up at the curb at the next turn, just boom, yeah. boom. And all Asian people were just so happy, Super bro. Hydrated. Oh, yeah, just flying, bro. Just, it was just so bizarre, though. We get naked, uh-huh. and they both just start cackling. Oh, wow. With laughter when they see my body. But I'm laughing too, right? But I did it anyway, but the whole time. Why? You'd never, you'd seen your body before. They've never seen my body though. Right, but what are you laughing at? Because they're laughing at my body. Oh, okay. They're laughing so hard, it makes me want to laugh. I thought you were waiting your whole life to see your body, and this is when you decided to do it. (laughs) No, no, that's not it. I had seen my body, do I have mirrors? Yeah, but you could also not see your body if you want. Like, I'll go sometimes, you know, I remember one time I went like eight months without seeing my legs. I never called him dad. From the age of five to ten, we lived together. It was it was dark. He always looked at me like he, like if he could, yeah. like if he could, he would just <laughs> he would fucking murder me, man. But you were probably ready to take him on it too, Fuck were you? No, I was terrified. Really? I tried to commit suicide. Oh. I tried to uh, OD on a bottle of Theragran M. You know those what vitamins? What is that? Vitamins. vitamins? Yeah, I tried to OD on vitamins. When and would you get just better? I just fell asleep. Damn. damn no. <laughs> what, did you get better? <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just thinking like vitamins, it seemed like. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have, uh, they didn't have Oxycontins back then. Oh, thank God, huh? In the podcasting world. That I would. That uh, you feel like you would have to at least. Shack up with. Not shack up. Jesus Christ, have some oh. respect for yourself. Who would that man, like who is the man? Is it a Brendan Shaw type of guy? Would, mm. he, would you then, you think you have to gravitate towards like <clears throat> this like burlesque kind of like um ambient sound of a man gun to my head because i would not date a single comic for the rest of my life and, oh, dang and on, that's dang a that. fact <laughs> look i could get a new job <laughs> <laughs> i could easily open up a bouquet shop okay, okay. i could sell bouquet man <laughs> easily how far though? You can't water a plant or anything, can you? No, I. The times that I've squirted, like I've I've squirted twice. It was more of oh. like a spill. Yeah. Like it's just all of a sudden you're like, oh, what the hell? Oh wow, the government's gonna have to clean this <laughs> up, you know. <laughs> a lot of fucking people are gonna fucking fill out insurance claims, but it's bullshit. Someone dude. call FEMA. Like how much? Like enough to like dampen a small burger? Like enough to ruin a small <laughs> burger? <laughs> Like, how much are we talking? God damn it, Theo. That is exactly the right amount. Like, oh, it is, no. I would say half a juice box for me. No. The mo- yeah, which is enough to dampen a burger oh. for sure. What is this reaction? Oh, I got mixed reactions about it. In elementary school, I lived in Minnesota, and the kids used to sit, throw, not snowballs at my head, but ice rocks. Oh, wow. <clears throat> And they just used to, Jeez. as hard as they can, just throw it at my fucking head. Why, you collected them or something? No, I don't, no one collects ice rocks. Like, oh, people icicles. were being mean. <laughs> people were being mean. Fuck, my bad, man. I was you like, think I had an icicle collection at my home? Yeah, I do. You say you were the weird guy. I can and, see you collecting icicles. And, and people were like, hey, here's another one. <laughs> and they thanks, threw guys. it at my head. Yeah, thanks, and man. it hits my head, and I go, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's shaped like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> No, they used to do it violently. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I just want to be free also to say what I want to say. Like last night on the stage, Joey Diaz had a stage, that, a joke that had a bunch of racial slurs in it, right? Yeah. Ones that we would n- all not even probably say on this podcast except you because you work with a lot of black people. You might be willing to drop Oh, them. I don't do the N-word. Huh? <laughs> I don't do the N-word. Oh, I don't do it, dude, unless you do. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just joking, man. I mean, I quit doing it probably about four years ago when everybody else did. 
Really? Yeah. You got off? I mean, yeah. 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 I was like, uh, I like how you quit porn after. <laughs> this train <laughs> This train is going nowhere. Because I started going with like a therapist when I was like 23. Yeah. So Damn, you're in there, dude. I've been, I just yeah. stopped. You're like the Larry Fitzgerald of therapy, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> yeah, man. I got dreads and shit. And we have to make urban references. You're the blackest guy we've had on the yeah, show in no, a while. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's been a Deion while. Cole canceled. So. <laughs> Man, he actually sent me. Yeah. Um, he actually was like, Neil, man, can you go over and fucking... Uh, pre- he said, bless bless Theo, so you know he's black. Um, uh, so, uh, I used to have those buzzer underwear, bro. They put these underwear on you. When the urine would hit them, a buzzer would go off, oh right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not joking. Look them up online. This ain't no joke, bro. So I went to my grandparents. My mother didn't tell them that I had these, right? I'm really hoping these are a real thing and not just a, like a torture device your parents put on you. Not at all, bro. <laughs> they made by themselves. This doctor gave them to us, dude. This dude was a bona fide. Looks like Google. This dude was a bona fide doctor. So we went there. I got the electric pants on, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wait, wait. What should I Google? I'm getting my rest. Probably, uh, you know, buzzer underwear for urinators. Uh, I would Google uh, buzzer underwear for urinators. Um, and uh, so then... <laughs> But they didn't tell my grandfather, right? So he fucking, and they had a small house, bro, a little bitty house. So my fucking crotch is just butt, like he he wakes up middle of the night, dude. I'm fucking. <laughs> You're on fire? <laughs> I'm not on fire, but I'm buzzing hard, bro. Because I'd had apple juice, man, and I pissed big on apple juice, dude. I fucking spray out on the AJ. So I'm in there just buzzing, dude. I didn't oh know. My God. And he came in. They he still didn't... got him? Yeah. Get me a pair, Lee. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't that's know. That's what I want. Get me a pair. He didn't know I what was... was going on. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, that's what... He comes I... in. He's scared, How bro. How loud is it? How loud is this? In a little bitty house, you could uh, you could hear it from down the hall. I just want to wake my wife up in the middle of the night like <laughs> twice a week. <laughs> I would just do two drops and, you, and it goes off. And, uh, <laughs> and so my grandfather's in there, right? And he's all scared and shit. And uh, oh, this would have been terrible when I was a kid. And he's pushing me with a broomstick, dude. He thought I was dead, dude. He didn't know what had happened, and we thought I was possessed or dead. He's pushing me with a broomstick to wake me up, and he was worried because he had one of those heart makers, and uh, he was worried he would get electrocuted. He thought something was happening. He thought the house had short circuited it, or the or the phone company had fucked up. That's what he thought the phone company had fucked up. <laughs> So he thinks I'm fucking just laying there buzzing like I was a fucking miscreant. But he died, man. My grandfather ended up dying. Oh. I never have treated animals differently, whether we're male or female. Oh. But I get, I remember asking, like, I'll ask, like, a waiter, like, yeah, is this fish male or female? Sometimes if I order, like, a, sa- a salmon or something. <laughs> you know? That's a good one. Just to kind of see, you know, yeah, and a lot of times response. they'll go check. <laughs> And sometimes they'll come back with an answer. answer? That's amazing. Yeah, it's like, ugh. I guess there's no, you know what I would love in that scenario is when they came back with an answer, uh-huh. you just go wrong and get up and walk out. Yeah. Because you know they're trying to pull something off. <laughs> wrong, yeah. And open something up with a knife, just show them a part of the fish. Like, what is that? You, know? you tell me that. That's a fish dick. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> tell me that. Hide something in there. That's the it, like, yeah. Jesus. Now you know what a yeah. fish dick looks like. You thought that, you know, the sky was just gray. And then you turn up, put on, no, yeah, imagine putting your, put, and then they're blue. You see colors for the, and then they'll go, oh, wow. they'll just, they'll go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, put on the no, glasses. put on the glasses. Yeah, the glasses you on, only yeah. see okay. black and white right now. Yeah, right? yeah. you see black, black and, and white, white right now, right? Well, you, you be his like wife and like give it. Right, to right. Him. And here you go. Here you go, um, Grandpa Phillips. Right. Yeah. 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 And then they'll do that. Yeah. And then they'll start crying. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're doing right now. I think he's acting. Yeah, yeah. He's falling asleep. <laughs> you didn't fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. Why wow, dude? Of- and it happens to a lot of senior citizens. Well, no. no. We're bored. Well, no. Colorblind. This fucking retard. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Yeah, I'm getting I don't think that's yeah, yeah, uh, the appropriate yeah, 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 way to address fucking. somebody with a mental illness. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. just say this, you fucking idiot, you fucking moron, bro. Don't make Will me you take li- half the no. Cialis right now. All right, okay? I'm going to just say this right now, okay? Yeah, colorblind, you're born with it. Yeah, are you? So their whole or life, maybe, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> so their whole, you fucking moron. Listen to me right now. George okay. laughed, dude. All right, he's from another country. He's from Idaho. <laughs> is he? Right, so they yeah, can't he see. He said color. he was. He could have lied. Colorblind, they they have it their whole lives. Who? 
Just people, people that are colorblind, not anyone specific. Yeah, I think if people are colorblind, I think we got we got to get them more colors. I've never ever pictured you in a sexual way, like some. Because when I meet oh, anyone, thank you. That's <laughs> when oh, I look what at are you everyone, you doing? what do you picture me doing? Then? I I picture you fishing. Somebody told lot. me the other day that they I always they I remind them of Lieutenant Dan, but if he still had legs, that's what somebody said. And I remember six. Her mom was out of town or something. We sixty nine in her mom's closet. Oh my! And I remember God. I remember her ass. Can you smell the shoes too. I love being in somebody's mom's closet. You can smell their fucking nice high heels and stuff in there. It wasn't a memory that was lodged into my head. Okay, okay, but I do remember. Was it cold in there, kind of? That's another another thing, another experience that I don't recall. Okay. Okay. But I remember grabbing her cheeks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you're 69. I'm always the bottom. I never do top. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any dude that goes on the top of a 69 is a fucking creep. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Because then you have to, you're mouth fucking her. I don't like Any it. Any guy who goes upstairs on a 69, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my. I don't God. think I've ever seen that. Bro, you're right. It's always the bottom. My bad. That's insane. It's insane, bro. If a guy goes upstairs right. on a 69. <laughs> Dude, it is so nice, though, when I'm walking around and my head is having a fun time. Yeah. That's like, the fucking singing. Yeah. Hearing associations. Thinking about something. Making fist rhymes. Fist bumping a black eye, like a big black eye a at the big, gym. A big, giant black eye at the gym. Oh. You don't even know why you fist yeah, bumped. But he liked it and you just, liked you it. You liked it. He liked it. Yeah. He, maybe he knows you. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe yeah. he's just felt you yeah you're walking off you're like i didn't do slavery i'm good you yeah know? i'm straight <laughs> yeah, just regular white people thoughts <laughs> yeah. when i would need to think about something good dude i think about lee man well thank you that means a lot yeah i think about you man i think you I just think about you to laugh you I mean just the stuff you say randomly like, i just want to hang out and like listen to what you say during the day to yourself i just i feel like it's hysterical this conversation is getting creepy right here already <laughs> Well, yeah, you just Lee, farted I, on me. How? I think, I think Lee God might be a little cascadone. Oh, yeah. I, I know what you're talking might, about. Think no, you know Shopping for closet. peppermint, they call it, dude. Yeah, where I'm from. I think from. he's coming out of the closet pretty soon. Uh, they say, hey, you know the boy over there, little, little Lawrence. I don't give a fuck if he's Lee. I don't Lee's care dead. either, bro. I'll let you yeah, hang off my dick like a fucking mountain cat. No, I would never let Lee suck. <laughs> Not you guys, but I I don't have the same relationship with him. Yeah, but you're still friends. You can't. I'm friends with him. I wouldn't fuck him. I would let him touch my dick a little. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Down the, around the holidays, bro? Just to make his day. Oh, he's a prison ham, this guy, bro. I fucking love that boy. Dog, do you know how much money? I told Lee Walk, Walk, Walker Lee one night mm -hmm. you know how much money we can make with Lee on the inside. Oh, my God. Know, just sitting on people's laps. Dealing cards. And rubbing their dick. Yeah. Well, just I'm glad we're bringing this back. You can't just <laughs> sit on someone's lap, but they're not going to let it end at just lap sitting. Bro. Uh, so they're not in you... prison because they, 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 they don't Gary, have to hold Gary, Indiana, back. you're an eight, bro. A warm female. In Gary, Indiana, dog, you're oh, a female Gary, eight, baby. Indiana, I got a guy that'll pay ten G's for you to put a wig on. And, <sighs> oh and yeah, a special type of podcast, and just me. mug his dick with your fucking neck. He's already ripped me a letter. <laughs> what does that even mean, mug his dick? <laughs> It, there's not that story that the strongest slave changed it all. It's the thinker slave. It's the Frederick Doug. You know, yeah. it's or it's the leaders. It's the, it's yeah, it's the thinkers. Yeah, it's the thinkers and, and the, the feelers and 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 the in the connectors right you know because that's the the the, the reality of it's not like slave adactyl you know <laughs> the strongest slave you know what i'm saying like no. even though it'd be a great superhero guy who came in and just changed it all you know <laughs> you mean like a pterodactyl slave i mean i'm not talking about a slave that fucks a bird but i'm talking about like a <laughs> slave that you know i've just picked a bad name i, I mean like an iron man if you, you give know? them free time they'll start <laughs> fucking birds women's clitorises are mm -hmm. penises that aren't f fully formed so when you're in yeah. in utero or whatever your and body some of them are makes... trying to form dude one girl i remember exactly. like thumb wrestling down there exactly i mean this thing was really sometimes girls have huge clits i was because... zero and two against this thing when i was trying to touch this lady's vagina dude <laughs> this clitoris definitely seemed like it fucking could have worn you know, part of a mitten. This thing was grande, you know? Yeah, because she probably has more testosterone yeah, in her yeah. system. Oh, she and... was Title IX, definitely. You know, <laughs> she had that fucking Title IX pussy. You know what I'm saying? Virgin power is so strong, bro. Is I saw it a wild. virgin. Oh, dude. That's crazy. Oh, a, uh, somebody parked a Volkswagen rabbit on this guy's leg one time outside of our schoolhouse, <laughs> and I saw a virgin fucking lift it right off his leg. Wild. Yo, what? And this was in fucking. Who knows when it was? Every scene is from like the movie Powder. 
every scene. It's amazing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Every you, scene you of your life. Stories like, like that. I've never seen a virgin <laughs> pick up a car. Yeah, they pick up AK 47s now. That's <laughs> the problem. Bro. Virgins now are picking up AR 15s. <laughs> Hopefully, well, they start picking up cars again. That well, would be nice. They need to start That'd passing out some pussy then, bro. I agree with you because they're shutting down all the pussy, bro. That's who's doing it. If the audience gave me a hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. I was gonna urinate in one of the speakers on stage, right? What? Yeah. How were you fucked up? I mean, I was having a few cocktails. Okay, you know? so this is like when you're yeah, partying, I was just though. part drinking, yeah. yeah. So we only got to about eighty dollars, right? So anyway, I got off stage. I'm outside. There's some people like saying, "Hey, dude, we're going to this. Uh, we're going to a pals party. Something you want to come?" And I was like, "Only if my boy can come." And I look over. And they had an urban guy, you know, in like a Louis Vuitton kind of jacket, mm -hmm. like kind of like a black urban guy. Okay. And so I said, only if my boy can come and I pointed at him, right? I don't even know this guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they're like, that's your boy. And I'm like, yep, that's my boy. So next thing you know, we're on a limo. This guy happens to be homeless, right? Or not, or doesn't know where his home is, right? <laughs> More of that kind of guy. Okay. So anyway, we're all going to this party, and I walked right over to him. As soon as they said, yeah, he can come, I walked over to him. I was like, hey, dude, have you, you, you ever been in a limo? He's like, no. I'm like, you're coming with me. Just no matter what, pretend you're my best friend. That's it. And was he good at that? Bro, so good at it, right? We get in the car. Because there's people that can't take that direction. They don't know what to do. He immediately, dude, yeah. was like, oh, yeah. He started naming people. He actually was a little too good. Right, right. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you, you remember uh, Wallace? <laughs> And I'm yeah, like, oh, bro, yeah. nobody cares. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, just yeah. drinking. <laughs> like, yeah. Or yeah. he'd be like, yeah, Yvette died, you know? And I'd be like, ah. Yeah. But anyway, we get to the party. We go in the house. It's like this kind of fancy party. A lot of people were there have been like maybe at a wedding or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're there like four minutes. I hear people scream from upstairs and hear a window break. This guy went into the coat room, stole a bunch of purses, jumped out the window and fucking Your took boy? Off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. And I was like, man, bro. When I did Louisville. He's changed a lot. In Africa, they hit you with a fucking pipe, bro, if they love you. Just you take know? a whiff of that fart. Just I'm not going to take a whiff of your fart. That's Come disgusting. on, bro. Get a little air appetizer, bro. Treat your Look nose. That. that is tremendous. Treat man. your snout to some of that fucking free booty pasta, bro, bro. <laughs> It was tough for my mom. She had to raise three kids. Oh. He left. He left the country. He went back to Mexico. No. Left. Left his credit card debt. Of course he did. He left it and everything, and it fucked my mom up financially. She was making one hundred and fifty dollars a week, so she uh, was always working overtime. She oh. worked hard. My mom. My mom worked fucking hard for us. And on Fridays, no matter what. On Fridays, we're going to McDonald's. Really? Yeah. No matter, we were like, hell yeah. What would that you was get? like. Do you remember what you got? Shit. This I'm, is the same. My mom would take it. Filet fish, baby. Filet yeah. fish. You're like, what yeah. an asshole. Yeah. I love that filet fish. Fancy ass kid. Fuck yeah, dude. What? I still eat those. That's still my dessert. Like, what? if I want to <laughs> cheat, if I'm going to cheat, I'm going to go get that filet fish. Are you kidding me? What fucking asshole kid yeah. Yeah. gets the fish, dude? I didn't even know we could order the fish until I was like 30 <laughs> years old. I thought you had to be like a real adult. Because that was my mom's fish. shit. My mom got the filet fish show. Uh, so I got into it too. <laughs> and it would stay there unbothered in a little baggy waterproof in case the fucking rain came. In case the floods came, in case yeah. something got biblical. Yeah. You could still break out of fucking... Yeah, I still, in case Louisiana all over again. <laughs> yeah. I'm on a tire floating, waving at the airport. <laughs> Fucking, I'm here, cocksucker. Dude, how great would that be? You're on the news. They're like showing you, and you're just down there doing coke, and they're like waving at the helicopters. <laughs> like, how many videos are there of the news during Katrina where there's just a bunch of brothers just blowing a fucking blunt, and they fucking couldn't put it on? And just yelling up, you can't stop me, bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was the first one that had to quit my job full time. So I kind of got like, I was like, guys, are we doing this? Because I got to give up on Giggle. Like I had to quit Giggle. Everybody else was able to work both jobs. Q was still a fireman. Sal still owned his, it was still bartender in the old. Well, let's say, menu. look, still a fireman is a unique term yeah. as well. I'm not saying, I love firemen, right? Yeah. Especially if there's a fire going on. <laughs> the number one person you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there's not a fire, dude. <laughs> They're basically people that are training for the hot dog eating contest. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, good people at heart. And softball. <laughs> That's what they're and doing. Professional softball That's what players. they're doing. Well, what are you going to be? You're Bobby Lee, man. You're not going to be somebody else. Yeah, kind of want to be Bruce Lee or something, some, some like guy like that. No, dude, you're way more Bruce Lee fought. You're like not a fighter. You're true, but I could fight, dude. You are. No, I no. could fight. Yeah. Who's that? Here's a guy right here, a little white kid that'll fight you, dude. Hey, Bobby, 
Um, I've seen uh, Theo has been doing BJJ lately. What are the chances that you join in whenever you're allowed out the house again? And um, how long do you think it's going to be until you do comedy? He said, can you, fi- you can fight. Can you fight? I didn't understand what he was saying, though. He has... Uh, the- the- this is what I heard. That's what I fucking heard. Dude, that's Charles Dickens, bro. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Is that the guy? I think That's I've heard of him. Great grandson. Yeah, yeah. That's Chuck Dick the third. I didn't even understand okay. what the fuck he just said. Now, with your mom being so tough, was it like? T- did, was it tough to feel like affection from her? Because sometimes, like my mom's a hard worker, right? My mom delivered. You know, she's a delivery woman. You know, she delivered newspapers since when I was a kid. She delivers magazines now. Um, she's always had a fucking van. You know, now she's got my her husband. He's has Alzheimer's. She don't even know he's in the van. He's with her every day, just fucking. <laughs> bouncing around in the fucking passenger seat she had to get a fucking second seat belt installed for him because he fucking went kind of slip he's getting little he would slip out of the fucking first one and now she's got him just cr- basically in a fucking straight jacket just bouncing around he has no clue where he is How just is delivering he? fucking news on wheels every day you know so you, i think he's about 90 you know your mom still <clears throat> does this Mom still does it, dude. And here's the worst part, bro. She got a good deal on this van, right? My mom likes a good deal, and she got a good deal on this van. It has no wind, none of the side or back windows, bro. So her fucking GPS is the Lord, bro. So she just fucking bouncing around. He's got him in the thing. One of the rows, it was somebody doing magic or pretending they were doing magic, but really they were just trying to touch each, you know, just trying to get a little bit of touch. You know, a little bit of David... David Coppin feels, you know what I'm saying? Oh, come back here. I'm going to pull a rabbit out this hat. But then you get back there and the only thing in that hat is, you know, a little bit of regular cock. And you're like, oh, this this ain't a rabbit. This ain't a rabbit, you know, but I'm going to let that thing hop around on me. Yeah, people think if they eat a McNugget that it's against gays out here, Mm -hmm. you know? Dude, I'll have four or five McNuggets and not even thinking about a man. I'll go get some McNuggets. And then go to an anti-gay protest. Yeah, wow, it doesn't yeah. stop me. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Just for the camaraderie, you yeah. know? It's not even what I believe. It's just like cool dudes hanging out, having fun. Dude, sometimes I've, I, wor- I wonder if, do you ever feel like a lot of gay men, gay men get seem to me also to be very judgmental a lot of times here. And maybe I just see that in Los Angeles. And maybe it's something that just I feel, but I feel like, it's not. I feel like gay men don't really support men that much. Really, they support other gay men. It seems like, but well, I don't know if they you ever, support. You ever do men. a show on like on like one of the gay bars in Santa Monica Boulevard? Yeah. Um, I mean, listen, most gay men are fine, but the queens mm-hmm. are the worst audience. Because like, shut up, you don't know. Yeah. They listen to half your setups. I'm like, wait, what? And you're like, you didn't even pay attention to any of this. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. They just sometimes come in to raise hell, and they sometimes they act like the crosswalk is a model area for modeling. <laughs> you know that, that, that lady who dances? No, yeah, well, I'll see a guy, he fucking just, he's not doing anything but crossing the street all night, and you know, just flat, you know, bragging about how he's in Fendi boots and John Elliott pants. I've had several people bring with them uh, to see me, and they will bring the sonogram of the ultrasound mm-hmm. that they had taken. And get and, you to autograph it or something? No, I would hold it up. They would be sitting here, and I would hold it up, and we'd be smiling, and uh, I would kind of point at yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And people think you're the dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't, I don't think they think that, but anyway. I would. Look, I, dude, if Santa was my dad, you know how excited I would be. <laughs> people would be like, I what does your dad do? Like, uh, he works at the bank. I'd be like, uh, my dad. Santa. <laughs> my dad's Santa. Wow, that's pretty magical. This one girl I knew, like, she, there was so much squirting sometimes. Like, I would, like, check to see if she was okay. Like, it was like, I was like, it was almost biblical, you know, a couple yeah. of chapters of it. It was just like, this is... You know, I felt bad. Like the cat would come around because he thought I'd cut the faucet on. Like just kind of like crazy shit, dude. And you to... had to change all the shit. Like oh, at a certain point, you're like, I'm Jesus sorry. If Christ. you're if you're a squirter and you know that you are, warn Get it the guy. Put... Uh, they put me on Zoloft because they, they me said, too. How yeah. great was it in the beginning? Amazing. <laughs> Bro, I could drink nine gin and tonics, dude, and not get drunk. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. Uh, I liked it for like a decade, though. Oh, wow. I was good. I didn't. It wasn't yeah. a drinking thing for me. I just liked it. I liked it. Oh, yeah. I loved it, bro. I could yeah. get up early. I felt yeah. good. You, would you last longer when you had sex? Oh, I wasn't. Oh, I'd last longer when I jerked off, for sure. Sure. Yeah. All right. Same thing. 
Um, definitely. Uh, Way definitely, dude. Yeah. Because uh, you were always looking to last longer. When yeah, you were yeah, yeah. Off, right? Yeah. You wanted to save it. Oh, no, dude. I'm definitely, at a certain point, it's like, Jesus, this is a fucking... Come on, man. What, who is this yeah. for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who's, I'm going to have the orgasm. What are we yeah, making it last for? Yeah. Uh, it's like my uh, what's that Greek guy who's pushing the ball up the hill? Sisyphus. But, yeah, it's like this is my yeah, Sisyphus. Like, yeah, why am I? Yeah, uh, where you're looking for just the right thing to finish. Oh, yeah. to. You're like, what? You, just finish, dude. I used to press my buttle against the corner of the counter right when I'd go. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> yeah, I believe that because you couldn't. Make when that I was up. young, bro. When I was young. Yeah, great. It's like the, the R. Kelly shit is coming out again now because he's broke, so he can't pay people off. Oh wow! Yeah, it's like imagine how yes, how stressful that must have been though, just juggling all the pedophilia stuff, you know, just bussing around the fucking warming the urine constantly and bussing it around, <laughs> you know, like he didn't like to produce new urine. No, he liked no. an aged. Oh, I bet I'm urine. sure he did. He Absolutely. seems like a guy that likes an aged urine. Nice aged urine. Oh, yeah. that's dark, isn't it? Yeah. But it is what it is. It is funny, though. It is funny. And, you know, in Indiana, I think the Ku Klux Klan started there. And a lot of people think it was in the South, and it was actually in Indiana. So, you know, I'm just kind of saying that. Uh, but, you know, other good stuff started there, too. Basketball. So one thing that was good for different ethnicities and one thing that was bad for different ethnicities. So it's, you know, it's definitely hit or miss out there. You know, it's hit or miss. It's, There's no way I could ever have sex with, like, one of these dudes that are like giving me money for like you know enjoying On that lurking like jerk, watching yeah. yeah so I was like there's no way and Nick um, does it a lot <laughs> a producer actually is, that's, that's um, false he I seems mean, like somebody that does then sorry well, that's fair dude my little nephew used to hide on top of shit like on bookshelves and shit and be real quiet and fucking surprise you bro yeah yeah and he was like 19 months old I'm like that's insane. <laughs> There's no way he got up there by natural causes. <laughs> no, no. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. dude ain't no fucking... <laughs> he so, he so seek that out. He's yeah. like, this is... We're going to make some happen right Oh, now. you could tell he'd definitely been like envisioning being up on that shelf and he just woke up there one morning, you <laughs> know? Like, this ain't all, no free solo b baby right no, here. It's all about the angle. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to do the yeah, most yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. Come down strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. He was really... Yeah, the, some of these children, they're just wild. They got the Edgar Allan Poe in them, you know? <laughs> Something's going on. Yeah. They got dirty birds in the back of their brain. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I remember making love to this girl one time, or not even making love, but trying to. And um, and her mom came home, right? This And this is like the first time I was ever, like just started having sex, you know, when I was young. And her <laughs> mom came home, opened the door, and we're in her bed, right? And I had to go, and I was just like, you know, I'm always pretty affable with parents. And I just walked over and just fucking introduced myself, <laughs> which is so fucking awkward, man. I got busted when I was 14. Uh, the, the, my girlfriend at the time, we were having sex, and her dad came home, and I just jumped in the closet naked with a condom on and just hiding in the closet, shaking, oh. waiting for him to leave. And he took so long for him to leave. By the oh, time he left, lazy. I passed out <laughs> oh, in the closet, God. and my dick was like super small and it still had the condom just like barely hanging off. <laughs> um, that's all. That was uh, that was one of the funnest things I liked about being young was sneaking around and fucking. Or like, I used to steal ch kids' bikes that would leave their like. I would ride like a little girl's bike over to like this girlfriend I was dating. Her house was like four miles away, and I would sneak in in the middle of the night. And she had these loud cats that had to sleep in her room. Like her parents made all the cats stay in her bedroom at night with her, right? <laughs> so I'd be in there trying to like go down on her and there'd be like nine cats in this fucking <laughs> living room, dude. Fucking jumping on my back and fucking yeah. licking my feet and yeah. stuff, dude. A van is just a trap house on wheels. Anything could happen. Dude, if somebody had a car, it was like, oh, things was limited. You know, you could ride around. You could listen to some music. You could put some beers in a trunk. You could smoke a joint, right? Somebody had a fucking van? Dude, if your friend had a van, bro, anything could happen. You could start a small business. You could run a butcher shop in the back of that bitch, son. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing 40 miles an hour and fucking dropping bacon bits out the back. In, in a van? Anything could happen in a van. If you was girls, you was a couple of bad bitches rolling out, you know? Put in your fucking, you know, put in a real, you know, put your strongest tampon in and hit the town. We doing it tonight, Daniela. You know? You know what I'm saying? Maria, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Huh, Susan? Huh, Tiffany? 
Tonight we letting it all hang out. No bra tonight, girl. I'm letting these titties touch the wind. And I don't know if this is probably, this might be gay or not. And I might, I don't think I'm gay, but what have you heard, you know? Yeah, but what I mean, I'm saying is this. Do you think having a guy give you a blowjob would probably be pretty intense, bro? Because dudes, you ever seen a dude eat something real fast? They're pretty quick they in the fat. jowls. Plus, just physically, their throat is longer. Oh. They have bigger heads. Bro, it's so, kind of scaring me yeah, a little. Yeah, so you get an extra, like, quarter inch. Oh, you I need, need that. that soft blowjob. I need that lady blowjob. Yeah, but are their tongues, like, like I'm gr sure gruffer, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, think about it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you could, if you accidentally put two uh, Kit Kats in your mouth, you could separate them with your tongue in your mouth. Yeah, girls can't do that. No, no. Just we, take them back we out, women, and have a friend help break them. 